Hello, I'm Sean Mavely and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build an ESP32 controlled door alarm. This door alarm detects the acceleration when you open the door and sends you an email through the Wi-Fi chip on the ESP32. Now, let's demonstrate the project, look at the materials, and review the code. Let's get into it. In the demonstration of the project, we'll start at the beginning. When you apply power to the ESP32, it connects to Wi-Fi and arms the alarm. While the alarm is armed, it is detecting the acceleration in the door. When the acceleration in the door reaches above a certain threshold, it will trigger the alarm. Once triggered, it will send an email to you notifying you that the door has been opened and the LED will change to red. But if you're the one opening the door, you want to disarm the alarm. So you have to enter the passcode. My passcode is 1234, but you can change this in the code. Now that the alarm has been disarmed, you will receive another email notifying you that the password has been entered. Finally, when you leave the room, you want to arm the alarm again. You just have to press start, and then it will arm 10 seconds later, leaving you time to shut the door. Now, let's look at the materials used in the project. We have an ESP32, an accelerometer, a membrane keypad, an RGB LED, some jumper wires, and a breadboard. Now let's take a look at the code. In the beginning of the code, we start by defining our libraries for the email sending and the membrane keypad. Down here, we enter the SSID and password and also your email and password. You'll need to change these based on your network and email. Moving down, we define all of our pinouts for the membrane keypad and we define the accelerometer's x-axis and the average acceleration of the x-axis. Then we have a real password, which is the password you enter to disarm the alarm, and our entered password, which is the password that has been entered. Moving down to the void setup, we define the pinouts to the red and green pins on the RGB LED and begin the accelerometer. We also connect to Wi-Fi. In the void loop, we have our three main if statements. The alarm is armed but not triggered, which is detecting if the alarm has been triggered, and the way it does this is by having a threshold value. I entered my threshold value at 550, but you might want to change it based on if it's triggering on accident. The next if statement is alarm armed and triggered, where it sends you an email and changes the LED to red. And the final if statement is alarm disarmed, which is just waiting for you to press the star to arm it again. Finally, at the bottom, we have an email sending function, which sends an email every time you run it. Thank you for watching the video. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button below. If you have any ideas for future videos, please put them in the comments below. See you in the next one.